Welcome back everyone. I'm back here at the small screen because I'm still without my camera person who's on summer vacation. But I have a video I'd like to do. And this uh, is going to happen if you're a Google Earth user eventually. Is you're going to need to bring in an Excel file of data into Google Earth to display it. Uh, if you're in the military, you'll have other resources at your fingertips. But for our purposes, we're only going to have this Excel file, which is pretty simple. Just, you know, 13 rows, so uh, 12 rows of data. Here are my column headings. So this is a school system, so I have the school name, the school type, whether it's a high school, elementary, so on. The lat long, which is very, very important. You need to have the lat long to be able to do it this way. If you're in the military, you'll be able to use MGRS, but you're gonna need another resource, which is another video for another day. We have the mascot of the school, whether they're the bulldogs or the lions or the bears, the website, principal, and then we have phone number, email, and address for the school. Now, the very first thing you need to do is to save this as a CSV. An Excel file is not going to work. So you'll need to go to File, Save As, save it wherever you'd like, then right here, when you hit this drop down, Save As Type, it's going to need to be a CSV, comma, delimited. I've already done this to speed up the process. Now, once you have that saved as a CSV, now you can come to Google Earth and bring it in. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. You're gonna come up here to File, right here, and do an import. And now what you're gonna do is browse to where you've saved your CSV and open. And this is gonna pop up. It looks complicated at first, but it's really not that bad. Most likely, you're not going to need to change many of these things. All I'm going to do, change the size of this window. There we go. I'm actually just going to come all the way down here to the bottom and click on Finish. And you'll have this window. Do you want to apply a style template to the, future, uh, to the features you ingested? If you hit no, it's the easy way out. Let's take a look at what the easy way out does for us. I hit no, it'll zoom in. Notice I have my KMZ, which is the exact same name of the spreadsheet. And when I turn it on, what I have on my map are these dots. And that's just what the default is. Also over here, when I open up the KMZ, I have all these no name place marks. Hmm. So when you do it the easy way, like most things in life, the outcome's usually not as good. So that's what you get. So let's do it the better way. I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna come back to file, import, choose my CSV and open. Once again, I'm gonna go down to finish. But this time I'm gonna click yes. All right, I'm gonna create a new template. I'm gonna click okay. And this is where I get to choose the name. Remember the last one had no name? So I'm gonna select Right here where it says set name field, right here. I'm gonna hit the drop downs and now it's reading the column headings. I'm gonna choose school name. And now this will be the names to my place marks, which is what I want. But I'm not done, I'm gonna go to color. And I'm gonna use uh, a single color scheme. Uh, no, you know, I'm gonna set color. There we go. Now when I go to icon, 
When I hit the drop down, now instead of those dots, I can choose what icon I want. I think I'm gonna choose this white balloon. I'm not gonna mess with heights because I have no altitude data in this spreadsheet. And let's click on OK. I'm going to save this template just in case I wanna use it again. It'll be much quicker. And now I've got my KMZ over here. And when I turn this on, now you can see I have the balloons and I have those randomized colors. Looks a little bit better and I've got the name. So here's Laporte Junior High, here's Laporte Elementary, Laporte High School, all these different schools, Rizzuto. So if I open this up and open up this subfolder over here in my places, here they all. And this is much, much better. So now if I wanna go to Rizzuto Elementary, I can double click on it and we'll zoom to the snapshot. And what I really like is that I can click on the place mark and everything that was in the spreadsheet that related to this entity comes into the balloon. So I can even click on this URL right here and go straight to the uh, web page for that school. If I wanted to change some of the other features, like maybe I don't like this balloon, maybe I wanna make this school right here a different icon. We've covered this before. Right click, properties, and now I can come up here and change the icon to maybe like the volcano if I wanted. I like that volcano. Now, very important, if this is something I wanna keep, I'm gonna move it up to my places, and then as always, file, save my places, and now I have successfully brought in a spreadsheet and visualized that data into Google Earth. All right, thanks for watching and map your world.